what you're listening to right now, right here in the background, in the back track. And yeah, it turns out I was like, um, went over to see LL Cool J concert, and some, some girls said, let's go backstage, you know, make LL Cool J at, at the Bottle Rock, you know, the big event in Napa every year. That's the second annual they had, second annual. So then I'm supposed to meet with um, Dre Williams, uh, lead singer with MC Hammer's group after the show to do some business. And then I call Ronnie Hudson and he said, hey, you know, uh, Beyonce really wants to meet you. And I said, yeah. And he said he's going on tour in Japan through the month of June when he gets back, come up to the Bay Area, hang out for a couple of days in Napa Valley. We do lunch, we do the TV show, right? And we go ahead and... Uh, and bring her bass player, which is a girl that Ronnie taught how to play bass. You know, Ronnie Hudson, the legend with California Love, right? And so uh, without, so uh, right here in the studio, we have uh, Ronnie Hudson via satellite. So welcome to the show, Ronnie. How's it going? It's going fine, thank you. And uh, thank you for having me. Good, glad you could be here. Because I, I, I talked the other day and he said, I said, ready to do the show? And you're like, yeah, and I go, so yeah, we're yeah. going to promo that new project that dropped? And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, so we can do it Monday night? And you're like, yeah. And, and, and you go, where's that studio out again? It's in Napa Valley. And you're like, oh, that's right. And I said, well, you know what? I'll save you some money. I can, I, we just dropped your lower third down below for your ID and your, <laughs> for your title. Br brought your title up down below right here, you know? And, All right. uh, and, and I said, well, we can save you some money, save you some time. You don't have to fly that Learjet up. Wing into the Napa airport and pick you up with the limo. We can just put you in the studio via satellite, you know, so until next time we get you in, in, in uh, live. Yes. You know, I mean, live via satellite tonight, but next time you're in the Bay Area, we'll get you right up here in the couch, you know, as well. <laughs> so, so, now. Uh, that sounds inviting. So what, what, <laughs> what inspired you to write this, this hit song back in 1982, California Love? Well, actually, when it came out, the song was uh, titled The West Coast Pop Lock. That's right. And um, uh, if my manager, uh, Michael Hooks, uh, came to me one day and he says, I have a title called The West Coast Pop Lock. And uh, I was wondering if you could write it. And uh, I told him, I said, I think I can. I said, I'll need to do a little research. And... Uh, find out what's going on. So I went to Watts, Compton, and, and some portions of Los Angeles. I actually went to uh, East Los Angeles too. And uh, I came back and I, I found out some things and I wrote the song. And uh, I mentioned uh, Watts and Compton, Los Angeles and so forth. And uh, uh, once the song was released, I got a lot of compliments from Watts and Compton especially those places they were saying no, no one ever showed them love like that before. So I notice now everybody's going, City of Compton. <laughs> right, exactly. Back when that dropped back in 82, I, I know right where I was at when that happened, right? You know, so <laughs> the legend. So you're still in L.A. right now? So I, I'm still in Los Angeles mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. In San Fernando Valley? Uh, yes, and um, uh, we're working on a brand-new project, uh, that I'm sure everybody's gonna love. Um, can't wait to, to get it out there for nice, so everybody can hear it. Now I hear you're up for an award. It's the the legend legendary award. You're up for the legendary award, right? I I am. Um, uh, August seventeenth, I will uh, pick up an, a legendary award, a legendary hip hop award. Nice at the uh, Los Angeles. Convention Center. That's August 17th. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. And uh, I'll pick that up. And uh, and then sometime after that, they're going to call me back. And I'm going to introduce Ronnie Hudson and the Badass Band. Nice. And and I, I heard you're up for a Grammy, too, right now. Yeah. Uh, from what I understand, I, I have one. I, I, someone accepted it for me. So, uh, Was it me? No. Yeah, I'll go pick that up. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go pick it. If you can't make the award, I'll go in there and I'll accept an award for Mr. Hudson. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go in and sit in for you, you know. <laughs> so. Now, what about the hip-hop awards? Uh, how many how many of those you got right going on right now? I have a couple of those. Yeah. Um, and this, this one that I'll pick up August will be a legendary hip-hop award. Nice. And nice. Uh, they're, they're taking a look at, they took a look at uh, the West Coast Pop Lot. And uh, they they found that it was one of the 
uh, songs that helped bring hip hop into focus. So then uh, they these days they do call it hip hop. Now you got you got you got some some platinum or gold albums out right now. Um, no, I don't. Ha- I I have well the song everything that I put out there is. You know, it went gold. And everything platinum. turns to gold. You had that Midas yeah, touch. Every, everything, everything you touch goes, turns to gold. To like the platinum. song, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and then it goes to platinum. Actually, I have say, a, on right? the West Coast yeah. Pop Lock on uh, California Knows How to Party. That one, right. uh, I think I got uh, I got multi platinum after it sold 70 million. And yeah. then and then you remixed it back in 90, uh, 10 years later in '92, right? With with uh, Tupac and everybody, Dr. Uh, Dre and. Snoop and guys, right? Was that like? Yeah, those guys. They well, actually they, they, they did. Yeah, they they, uh, they Snoop did it several times and just blended it all in and, and yeah. fixed it in the mix, right? Yeah. Well, we have some awards yeah, and, tonight too. We have we have some music awards, you know, and the nominees is for the pioneer of, of rap, you know, for the hip hop okay. mogul with uh, yeah. awards tonight, and the okay. nominees are uh, DJ Flash and okay. also uh, Ronnie Hudson. So. The envelope, please. Uh, you ask, tell me who, who, who won who won tonight. And the winner is? Yes. My co-host, Tyler, also another Tyler. So. Ronnie Hudson. Ronnie Hudson. So oh, right. I want to present you with, uh, you can put this on the shelf with uh, all your other uh, many, many oh, awards. Man. And go, and go, oh, and it, oh, is, man. Uh, I really appreciate that. So nice. Right, right. So we'll go it's ahead, so and nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on camera as well, so the so the TV studio audience can see, and All our right. online live streaming <laughs> audience uh, uh, and the internet can see, and and uh, 99 Uverse in the Bay Area, Channel 99, and then 28 in the Napa Valley as well, Napa Valley, okay, Cali. Okay, you know we have the Facebook that right by the way. Well, I I can hook I can hook you up without hook you up. Congratulations, down, plug in, turn you on, Hey, you. thank you so much. Congratulations. Well, my Accepting thank the you award. Much. No, just thank you very much. <laughs> so, and, yes, sir. Uh, appreciate it. You bet. And uh, so, so um, now a lot of people don't know that that you. I see in the background you got some. You're a bass player. You got. I see you got the six string back there. The five string. You got. What else you got? I see you are you are a bass player as well, right? <laughs> Actually, I have about four bass guitars, and then I have a Stratocaster guitar, and then I have a, nice. an acoustic guitar, and um, you know I kind of sort of fool around with all of it. Right, you know? right. And, uh, some, you know, I make songs that way most of the time. And right. here beside me, you can't see me, but there's a little MIDI set up here, a little MIDI studio set up, keyboard. I saw that keyboard earlier, yeah. Yeah, and nice. everything's sitting here. So, you know, we do get busy up in here. Right, My right. son, uh, I have two sons, Alan Hudson and Kenneth Hudson, and they're busy in the studio all the time. Nice. You know? Yes. Boy, howdy, they're, they're so hard-working we, kids. Yeah. yeah, they're working kids. They get down in here, you it's, know. And sometimes, uh, you know, they'll be putting some things together, and I'll come through and say, hey, man, I really like that. Put that on the side. You yeah, because it's, like it's like a 24-hour industry. I mean, I mean, well, 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 while you're sleeping, other people are working hard, so you got to keep up with the Joneses, yeah, right? You, you know, sort of, you know. Yeah, but see, I'll be working hard with them. That's right. That's what I mean. I'm just saying. I know you're like, hey, I got to keep up with you. I'm like, yeah, because you're on it. You know, I mean, it's not. It's like a full time. Yeah, it's all good. It's well, like, you got the golden touch, so. I mean, you you could sleep six hours a night, right? And you still got 18 left to hook hook something up. <laughs> so. I sleep very little. I do too. Maybe, six uh, hours a night, to five, six. Yeah, I'm so, up and gone. Yeah. I get I go to bed late and I get up early, you know. So I was like, there you go. If I, get yeah, you, to, you. <laughs> if I get to bed at two and I get up at six, I'm good to go. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's good, fine man. With me. Two hours you know? best, and you ready? So, so um, now you had on um, you worked with um, Snoop and Too Short and E40 and DJ Battle Cat and you worked with um, DJ Flash and Zap Troutman. You had uh, you worked with um, let me let me think who else uh, Captain Rap. Uh, uh, let me drop a let me drop a graphic up on the big screen here. Of uh, it's the last graphic. It's it's uh, yeah, there it is. It's Ronnie Hostin West Coastin album, right there, and it's got a picture of uh, it's. Uh, I'm gonna show Ronnie too what what we're looking at. We're looking at this right here on up on the big screen, and it's a graphic I dropped off your website. And uh, who else was on there? There's like a whole slew of cats on huh? E40 and. 
Yeah, you got E40, and, and there's some people that that's not being shown. Jay Wyclef. Black, Jay Black, yeah, my, my buddy, my buddy out of Sacco was on Jay there. Black is on singing, there. He's singing some tracks. Yeah, he's on there, and uh, the, yeah. the, the Sugar Free, a uh, whole host of people. You know, yeah, we'll give a little shout out yeah. to all those cats because you know, yeah, that's man. an awesome, that's an awesome album too. You know, it's like, and you remixed you, it bro. again Thank in you. April too. That you like it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, you can. Uh, it was DJ's flash idea to do this. Yeah, and, uh, and he's about our age, right? He's the same age as us, so he, he's around there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's actually he's a little younger. Well, but yeah. he did a good job. Yeah, well, you're a little younger than me, actually. Two months, but <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not that much younger, right? Two months younger, right? Uh, so, right. <laughs> so, you know, so us, old, us, us older yeah. generation of the, because of the, you're like a pioneer of the rap industry, <laughs> like the, the hip-hop mogul from the, uh, a lot of people uh, will be loving to see this, like, worldwide, you know, because it'll be live streaming, and we're going to go ahead and compress this show. We'll upload it to YouTube, then we'll share it to Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, Pinterest, and all that. So there's all like right. 65 different ways so people can catch this this show tonight. All you right. know? That's cool. And we got we got about 15 minutes left, so there's plenty of time left. It, anytime you get you got to take off, I know you got to go to the studio, and he's going to be doing some recording tonight. And I know you you're set to go off and take off to the studio uh, tonight because you got you got some gig going, and I don't want to I don't yeah. want to keep you too long, you know. But you let me know. And and also what I want to know is uh, your website, so anybody here can get a hold of you or look at yes, what you got uh, to it, to give. It's it's it, yeah, it's an easy website. Uh, it's RonnieHudson.com. RonnieHudson.com. Go there. I don't and, even need to write it down because <laughs> that's easy. Yeah. And and, <laughs> and and do you have like an email, Ronnie, that uh, people could get a hold of you if they needed to or something? Yes. Uh, or do you want to keep that private? You know. No, I, I, I can give the email out. Uh, right. It's Ronnie Hudson. And between those two names is the West Coast Pop Lock. Right. So Ron, Ronnie West Coast Pop Lock Hudson. Nice. I'm going to set that up. So, and you have, I'm going to put in the credits, you know, uh, your name and title and all that at the end of the show so people can catch you, you know, eventually here. And uh, you are... Uh, so um, what time? So you're gonna go in the studio. And what are you gonna work on tonight? What are you gonna be doing? I'm gonna work on some original material, and uh, it's. Uh, are you gonna drop some so, tracks with the bass too? Yeah, I'm gonna drop some stuff with the bass, it, and we got some real hot stuff coming. It's really hot. Nice. You know, it's a. It's gonna, you're gonna experience a different Ronnie Hudson on this CD, and uh, I'm gonna be working close with the sons on this. They're gonna. We're gonna sit down and put uh, uh, an entire CD together, album, Not, uh, and uh, 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 compose the ten songs. Boy, howdy! Nice. And uh, now you'll see our credits there: uh, Alan Hudson, Kenneth Hudson, Rodney Hudson. Right. See Kathleen Hudson, which I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll see that. So it's a family she's affair. A, uh, yeah, yeah. A, she, she's she's a she's a great writer. Right. Right. So. Uh, she will be, you'll see her name on there. So we're going to have all those Hudson's in there doing it. They all have it in their blood, so we may as well right, right. work, you know? Yeah, it's a very talented and blessed uh, family, right? You know, so, yes, yes. you know, gifted. So, Sir. Now, now, do, do you, 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 you train, you taught the, the gal, the girl, how to play the bass for uh, Beyonce, right? Well, yes, I had something to do with that. Uh, her, her, her father... He, he worked with her over the years, and uh, from time to time, he would bring her to me and say, you know, it's time for her to have a lesson. And uh, I would, you know, show her something. And uh, and then we work on that until she, uh, she you know, once she got it, then I would, you know, we'd be comp I'd be confident. I'd tell her, say, okay, practice on this. And she would, and the next time I would see her, she would have that and more to go with it. I, I, I'm certain that it's, it's a natural talent as well. So, but I did have something to do with uh, her being where she is and, today. And how did that feel? I mean, because you're probably pretty proud, right? You know what I mean? I'm very proud of her. Right. And um, um, I, 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 I see 
you know, I hear from her all the time, and uh, she's out there being successful, and that's what this is all about, becoming that's, successful. That's fantastic. You, you like making money from this, but you really love what you do. You got, if, if you did, so, you know, the, 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 you have the product and the money will come, right? It's like, and right. if you love, enjoy what you're doing, that's, that's what's important, and then everything else will just roll that's like s- snowball, yeah. cannonball, whatever. Exactly. Snowball, and after that, right? So exactly. you, you were you were um, sixteen years old when you first got in the in the group in a group, right? I I was, um, I was sixteen years old, and um, I didn't know I was going to play the bass. And uh, there's a friend that I used to ride with. We used to get together every day. He was we're very very close friends to this day. He was a guitar player, and he still is. And during those days, I knew nothing of being a musician or even becoming a musician. But when I would ride with him in his car, he'd pick me up every day and we'd hang out. And during the times that I would ride with him, uh, the radio was pl- would play and I would hum all of the bass lines on the radio, just like right? the radio. Nice. And, and, and he told me one day, he said, you know, I think you're a bass player. <laughs> And I said, what? <laughs> he said, you hum these songs better than guys that's been playing for 10 years. Yeah. You hum it just like the record. Amazing. And I said, well, I, I had no idea to what I was doing. And he says, uh, then he, he said, you need to come and, and play with me and my band. And I told him, I said, I, I could never do anything like that. I don't know anything about a band or playing. <laughs> he says, I'm going to give you a bass guitar. Nice. He said, remember this, anything hum you can play right that got my curiosities up <laughs> when he said pretty that. smart yeah that's pretty smart and uh once he said that i was i wanted the bass in my hand just to see if i could do that right and he he brought a bass to me and i was able to do that as a matter of fact i was able to do it very easily it was fun very easy and lots of fun and I enjoy it so much. I think in two weeks I could play everything on the radio. It was just a natural. Nice. Anything you can hear, you could play. It, it's a gift. Yeah, yeah. And that 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 got me. That got my curiosity. Yeah, it got you started, right? And, yes, sir. Right. <laughs> then then I became. I actually became his his, uh, his bass player in the band. Nice. And then the floodgates opened up, right? <laughs> At age sixteen, right? Yes. Nice. Yes. And, you know, I actually pl- began to play in his band. And I think after I was playing maybe six months, he was telling me, he said, you play better than anybody in this town. Wow. wow. Yeah, that guy has been playing for 10 years, can't play these songs as closely as you can. Dang. And, but none of that moved me. I just loved what I was doing. Right. You know, I didn't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About the accolades and all that. No, just, right? Yeah, yeah, I was having fun I, I, every time I pick it up. I wasn't playing my bass guitar too much, so I gave it to this church over in Vallejo, and they're using it now. So, oh, that's it, a nice it, thing. It, it was a four string; had been down in my family for a long time. I got it from my uncle, you know, and, yeah, and then nice. before my cousin could steal it, he's like looking at it. So I, thought, <laughs> I, I give, give this, give this over to the uh, church, put some use to it. So I, I've been playing it that much. You know, I like the keyboards. And uh, my favorite, you know, and uh, little mandolin, violin. Violin's my son. He he likes the violin. I like the the four string banjo, pretty cool. Because the four string banjo, the violin, the mandolin, mandolin, violin, four string banjo, they're all tuned exactly the same. If you can play one, you can play all three. Because they're all it's just wow. it's just the same chords. Are, everything's exactly the same. If you can play one of those, you can play all three. Because they're all tuned the same, you know. They're all, they, you know, you got four strings and then four cool. strings, and one you got eight. They're just doubled, you know. So, so it's like, yeah. yeah it's so cool, it's like man. if you play one, you can play the others, you know. It's like. Yeah, that's all right. So yeah, it makes cool. makes it kind of easy. I think yeah. it's pretty cool that you got to work with Snoop Dogg. That's just that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, you you had uh, you had Snoop Dogg right right on the on the uh, the remix. You guys, Ronnie Hudson remix, the West Coast album. And then you guys remixed it again on April, didn't you? I mean, this was it, another one dropped in April, right? That's true. Another yeah. West Coast, the remix. 
Yeah. So, um, I haven't got that one. You have to send that one to me, you know. Mail, yeah, mail, we'll mail, me a copy. You, mail me a copy of that one, like a hard copy. Yeah, we'll yeah. make sure you, you get one. Uh, we'll take care of that. I'd love to have it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, that one um, uh, has some really smooth, uh, progressive hip-hop uh, stuff on it. and um, I'm looking forward to uh, it. Yeah, I like I like that one too. I'm looking yeah. forward I'm looking forward to to uh, the new uh, West Coast and uh, remix because uh, I blasted this I blasted this one all the way to the airport and back Sacto Airport and back the other day. All right. And it, and it, and it was it was uh, nice. West right? Coast loving, right? Boy, howdy! Yep, California love, West Coast and Ronnie yes, Hudson sir. right here in the house. So yes, sir. Maybe we can drop that graphic again one more time too for the for the. Uh, uh, West Coast and uh, CD. Yeah, there it is. So, look for this. It's awesome. I'm showing everybody this actually on a, on a graphic on the big screen. And look for this. It's awesome. It's it's uh, West Coastin Ronnie Hudson with uh, DJ Flash, Two Short, Snoop Dogg, E40, DJ Battlecat, Zap Troutman. Um, who else was on there? Um, it's legendary. Captain, Captain Rap, um, uh, whole slew of, of, of folks. Is on, oh, Jay Black, my buddy, was on here yeah. singing on the album, um, some tracks, and uh, Ronnie Hudson, of course, and yes, uh, like that. So we got about six minutes left. Any shout outs you want to say to anybody? So I know I got to let you go back to the studio. And yeah, do I'm going to head back. Um, that demo yeah, but I like to say a shout out to all my fans and friends. And um, my my uh, and family, and um, uh, uh, and I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Michael Hooks, my manager, uh, who is responsible for this West Coast pop lot. Michael uh, Hooks. Amazing, yes, amazing story that we, he and I came up with, and the way we did it, um, and he's a very true. Friend, and as well as a manager. He's a good manager. Yes, he is, and, and a good friend. Right. Uh, I could tell you a real short story about yeah, this yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. We got time. You, uh, whatever you want. This is your show. And this is an unusual story. Right. And I think I should share. I've never I would shared love to hear it before it. with anybody. Wow. Okay. But we, we exclusive. Put the West, this is exclusive. This, this is exclusive for sure. Uh, we put the West Coast pop lock out after right. a few weeks or so. It turn gold right and then so many other people did it. It, it 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 made history you know now it's in uh rolling stone uh as the it's the, out of 500 best songs ever I, the, the uh california knows how to party is maybe number 364 or something like that wow so that's amazing you know, when you think about how many million, billions of songs have been made. Right. You know, and, and you're in the 500 of all time. Right. Top 500 of all time. No doubt. That's great. That, yeah, that's, that's Boy, quite, howdy. quite <laughs> a thing there. That's amazing. And, but, but that's what happened there. And uh, the, the song made money for me uh, right after the earthquake in 1994. During that earthquake, of course, I was here in California. And uh, I decided to leave and take my kids and myself to Atlanta, Georgia. So we moved there. And I lost track of Michael Hooks, maybe 10, 15, nearly 20 years went by. And one day I tried to reach him and I couldn't reach him at his old number. So I sent a message by way of BMI. And I spoke with them. They said, well, because I knew they had the right address, yeah. all the right stuff. BMI. So I, Mm -hmm. So I told him who I was and that it was, you know, urgent that I speak to Michael. I want to check and see how he was doing. And uh, all of these years, I never thought about any money or any, never crossed my mind. Right, right. the song, I left. And um, they said, well, I can't give you his information, but we'll send him. If you give us, what, tell us what you want, we'll write that down and send it to him. Right. Including your phone number. And I said, please do that. So I sent a little message with my phone number on it. Maybe a few days later, he called. And he said, Ronnie, I got your message. 
and I and I couldn't believe it was him. But we talked for a while, and he said, "Oh, Ronnie, by the way, you've got a lot of money that I put away for you. I put it in an escrow account, wow. so and it, it's never been touched before. Wow! And all you have to do is call this number, and they'll send it to you. And I called that number, and I received a lot of money. Wow." That's a pretty wild story. No can, other can, manager can I get I that number, Ronnie? Story. Can I get that number? <laughs> Everybody wants that number. Yeah. I can't think of anybody in this. I don't, do you I, know a manager, that, any other manager? No, no, would, no other manager that would go out of his way like that to, to, to look out for your best interest. Other than me, I'm, I'm a pretty good I'm, I'm trying to be a good manager, but yeah. But you're, we hear the stories he's a, he's a good, every day. You and I, we know. He's, he's golden, man, you know? And and uh, how many people have like sampled that California love now? I did, and you get residuals, oh, and, and anytime you get residuals for that, yeah. and uh, the residuals, the residuals are still heavy. You wouldn't yeah, believe yeah. it. Song was made in 1982. <laughs> right, 1982 original. I still hear it's the song incredible. constantly. Still, it's, yeah. it's still, it's, it's still, it's still it's everywhere. Still, it's all in. It's always in a movie, some right. movie. Right. right now, the California Love is in that movie, A Million Ways to Die. In That's the, right. In the, in and you know West. what? It's on GTA, Grand Theft oh, Auto, right? That's what oh, some, yeah, somebody yeah. told me the other day. Hey. San Andreas. I go, really? He goes, yeah, that's San what they're Andreas. playing. In the, they're driving that's around right. stealing cars. That's the song that's in right. the background, right? That's right. So anyway. Guess I got, what? Yes, sir. Wait, wait, it's in one more movie right? that's out now, too. What's that? What's that? <laughs> uh, there's a movie called Chef. Right. Like a chef a kid, a, that cooks in a kitchen. Right, right. Chef. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie, the West Coast Bob Clock, is in that movie as well. It's it's everywhere right now. Well, I gotta do. I gotta. I got one minute, so I got one and a half minutes of credit, so I gotta do a shout out real quick, and I'm gonna let you go. And it was great having you on the show. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show, Ronnie, the legend, right here okay. in the studio Thank via satellite. You. So I wanted to Thank say uh, right about now. I want to say. Um, Boy, howdy, guest of the television show, stay inside a lot, transportation provided by Malaysian Airlines. Uh, it's too soon for that joke, I don't know. We would like to thank our guest, Ronnie Hudson, right here live via satellite in the studio. And our sponsor, Sal the Flower Guy, brings in these flowers into the studio every week. Also, Doc's Trophy Shop makes these music awards for our musical guests like Ronnie Hudson here. Uh, hair in Motion, cut my hair yeah, on the studio, yeah, yeah, right here. So here we go. Come on. They cut it right here live in the studio last week. My new sponsor, right? Hair in Motion. So we want to thank our live studio audience. We want to thank our TV studio audience. They're the best. Napa Valley audience. Online audience. Our captive audience, right? And uh, also we got uh, headshots for all the uh, guests in the house today. We got a... Uh, so God bless you and yours. And watch us on YouTube, Tata Vision 707. And remember, Tyler Vision has a fresh new lemony scent. So pretty much uh, we're out of here. And we'll go ahead and set that up, hook you up, kick you down, plug in, turn you on, and set you up. So thanks for being on the show, Ron. You got it. Thank you. You bet.